3D printing. It's not something most consumers have experimented with directly, but chances are they've interacted with it in the most unexpected place, their dentist's office, or watching their favorite TV show or movie, and even when putting their shoes on. So why and how is 3D printing technology creating a wave of sweeping changes in numerous industries? Well, here with the answer to that question is Max Lebowski. He's the founder and CEO of Form Labs. Max, thank you for joining us on Tech Impact. Thank you for having me, Mark. Now, Max, in 2011, when you founded the company, what were your goals? What did you see was missing in the industry? Well, 3D printing has actually been around for a few decades. But for most of its history, it's been really inaccessible because the machines have been refrigerator sized, cost hundreds of thousands of dollars, and required train operators to use. We saw a potential to make the technology way more accessible by lowering the cost by 10 times and, and making it dramatically easier to use. And fast forward to today, we, we've done that, and we've shipped, actually shipped more professional 3D printers than any other company in the world, almost 100,000 to date. And uh, we make the printers. We make the software that drives them, and we also make a range of more than 30 different materials that cover many applications. Wow, that's quite the intro, Max. Yeah, it's been an eventful decade. Now, you did mention a wide range of uses and SLA, or stereolithography printers, so I want to address that. But first, can you briefly walk us through how 3D printing has changed over the past, say, decade, and what impact these changes have had? I think the best way to answer that is to take a look at some of those applications and, and show you how they've evolved over the years. One of the kind of oldest uh, applications of 3D printing is with uh, rapid prototyping for product development. So these are some examples from OXO, the kitchen goods company. They're known for really excellent industrial design of their products. To do that, they need to iterate many times, print out a lot of prototypes, try them out, try out different designs and they use our printers to, to be able to get a new design uh, every day, sometimes multiple times a day. Another completely different field in Hollywood, in the movie and game industry, this is actually um, uh, the Demogorgon character from Stranger, this, the show Stranger Things on Netflix, and the creative studio that developed this character used our printers throughout the process to, to get to a better, scarier design for the character. A really challenging application we worked on is actually shoes or midsoles for shoes. Um, this is a project with New Balance where um, this part here is, is actually printed and has this cellular structure that's higher performance and lighter weight than what can be produced uh, through other manufacturing processes. The technology has really come a long way in just 10 years. That's pretty clear. So Max, I'm going to go back to what you brought to our attention earlier, and that is Formlabs line of SLA or stereolithography printers. You mentioned specific businesses like dental offices. How does your new technology enable them to be more efficient and effective for not just their business, but also their patients? Some of the things that, that we do for customers in dental include uh, clear aligners. So uh, clear aligner is an orthodontic appliance that, that straightens your teeth, um, but it's uh, really cosmetically kind of better than regular braces. And each one's made from a different 3D printed model here. Another cool example is dentures. Uh, so dentures, of course, also need to, to fit the patient. Um, and dentures can be quite expensive because they're typically handmade. Uh, and as a result, a lot of people don't have dentures who, who would benefit from them. And then outside of dental, other healthcare applications, um, we've got a lot going on there. Uh, but the one that I'm probably most, uh, most proud of, uh, there was a big shortage of medical equipment and supplies. And the thing that turned out to be quite successful was 3D printing COVID test swabs. They are tested to perform as well as conventional swabs. So Max, as you look into the next five to 10 years, what does that look like for Form Labs and 3D printing? We feel like 3D printing is still just scratching the surface of, of its potential. Today, only a small portion of the things that could be 3D printed are, are 3D printed. Uh, but as we advance the technology, make it more cost effective and make the materials more capable, we're going to see 3D printing used in, in more places. Max Lebowski from Form Labs. We thank you for your push to continue improving productivity by innovative technology. Thank you for having me, Mark. If you'd like to learn more about Form Labs, check them out at formlabs.com or follow us at techimpact.tv.